much has been said about San Francisco's troubles. You hear about them well beyond the Bay Area. They make their way into national news all the time. But tonight, the city was focused on how to fix them, specifically how each of the people running for mayor plan to do that. Tonight, the top five polling candidates met on the debate stage at the Sydney Goldstein Theater and Civic Center. Lauren Toms was there. Contenders for the city's top job sparred over how they plan to address some of San Francisco's most infamous issues. All eyes were on incumbent Mayor London Breed, who defended her record on public safety and homelessness. We are seeing one of the lowest crime rates we've seen in 10 years. And that crime rate is continuing to trend to this very day, including a 50 percent reduction right. year to date in car break ins, 30 percent reduction in property crimes. Former mayor and city supervisor Mark Farrell once again promised to fire police chief Bill Scott and to crack down on drugs. As mayor, I will declare a fentanyl state of emergency. It will allow us to ask the state and federal government for additional funds to allow them to bring in additional law enforcement and also allow us to build a 24-7 centralized intake center. Political newcomer Daniel Lurie made his bid as an outsider to City Hall and touted his plan to add shelter beds and outlaw tent encampments in his first year in office. I have a plan that we will put out 1,500 new shelter beds in the first six months of my administration. They will be safe, they will be dignified. People will no longer resort to, nor will they be allowed to sleep on our streets. But candidates took jabs at his lack of insider knowledge throughout the debate. And Daniel, this is where your inexperience shows. See, that's where the inexperience of someone that hasn't worked in government like Daniel Lurie shines through. They have over 70 years of combined experience on this stage. <laughs> Look at where it's gotten us. Supervisors Aaron Peskin and Asha Safai took aim at existing flaws with City Hall, vowing to overhaul processes if elected. Unfortunately, police were directed to target drug users instead of drug dealers. We've made more arrests for using drugs than dealing them. That is not going to work. Right now, we have almost a thousand permanent supportive housing beds sitting empty. We have hundreds of affordable housing units sitting empty. <clears throat> we have hundreds of shelter beds sitting empty. This is not a matter of resources in our city. It's a matter of leadership from the top. Moderators also asked each candidate what single issue they would fix if they had a magic wand. Like bippity boppity boo. Absolutely deal with the overdose crisis and the number of people that are dying on our streets. I would bring the 49ers back to the city of San Francisco. Ooh. The crisis of drugs on our streets, absolutely, but I think we can prevent that by having a world-class public school system. I would wave my magic wand and over 100,000 units would appear overnight. <laughs> Wonky, I know, but I would vastly reform the civil service hiring system, which only the mayor can do to hire to all those vacant nurses positions, 911 positions, police officers officer positions, I'd fix civil service. The city elects its mayors under a ranked choice system. Voters can pick up to 10 candidates in order of preference.